Hallelujah. Let's receive those who are coming out to confirm what our names are. Pastor Gloria Onyewi. Put your name for hand together for Jesus. Brother Carlo Ogbe. Continue clapping, continue clapping. They are confirming what our names are. Sister Fumi Bamishile. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Sister Fumi Ogubanke. I'm only hearing past the math hands. Keep clapping. Brother Paul. Shima. Hallelujah. Amen. The flight is not waiting for anybody. <laughs> Praise the Lord, church. I just want to bless God for adding another year to my age. I just want to give God all the glory because him alone deserves it. This year, I told God I want to do something different. I've always been celebrating with my family, colleague, friends, church members. But I said, I want to do something different this year. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me. I should do something. I should go to like a rural area and do a food outreach. On Saturday, I made use of the normal prayer section and evangelism on Saturday. I beckoned on Sister Matilda to join me. And to the glory of God, we went into inner part of the Makoko area. And it was an ISO. I even took my daughter along. My daughter was like, ah, Mommy, where is all this place? I said, I've not seen anything yet. And to the glory of God, we started distributing the foodstuffs I bought and everything. And the children were like, ah, what of our own? I said, okay, I'll buy biscuits for you people. We went to buy biscuits. We started distributing. And what, what touched me that one old woman like that? And she said like, ah, she said they are twin. I should give her two. I now said, okay, this is yours. And she now said, okay, she wants to pray for me. I said, mama, all, all yours. Pray for me. And I tell you, every prayer she was just mentioning, she was eating it on the nail. Everything she was just saying. Everything she was just saying. It was as if she, she knew my heart. She was saying my heart. This is someone that cannot speak English. She was saying it in a good language. And one of the sons was interpreting it with English. And I was just receiving it. I was just receiving it. To the glory of God, in the midnight, I put up my status of um, happy birthday in my WhatsApp group. And one of my husband's friends saw it. He's in the U.S. He stays in the U.S. with his family. And he just said, ah, madam, happy birthday. Ah, ah, how are you doing? I said, ah, okay, I'm fine. He said, okay, forward your account. This, is, this is something that has never happened before. It has never, never happened. Even my husband was surprised. It has never happened. And I tell you, this morning, I just looked at my phone. The exact money I spent for the outreach, he just wired it. Bam, bam, bam. I just want to give God the glory because this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Hallelujah. I say, clap your hands. They are coming to confirm our name. Hallelujah. You too will be a testifier. Good morning, church. Daddy and mommy, God bless you. Good morning. Praise Master Jesus. 
my, my testimony goes in this way. Last year, we made a confession that they called people to come and support my faith. And I have nothing, I don't have. I said, no, I must support. I have nothing. I said, I must support. I came out with the faith. By the grace of God, to the glory of God, on Tuesday, I transferred. This 22nd anniversary again, last Sunday, Daddy called people to come and support. The same thing last like year, I don't have. I said, no lie. I came out with the faith. To the glory of God, on Tuesday, I transferred. That is my first testimony. The second testimony is this. I am heard. I can walk. I can speak with my children. It's not money. It is the glory of God. That is my testimony. Praise God. Hallelujah. The just shall live by faith. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I just want to return all the glory to God because God has been really been faithful to me and him alone who deserve all the glory and praise have come here to return it. Um, last year, camp, I went to camp, so there's a um, uh, prayer request. So I was so specific about the prayer request that I want to list out. I don't want it to be too much, but just five. And the same thing with um, the crossover night because the theme for this year says um, prosperity and power. So I was so intentional about that theme that I don't know about anybody else, but this year, this year is for me, and, and God will, so I want God to be intentional about it, and I also want to be intentional about it. So concerning my business, I said, God, financially, I want to have a specific amount of money in my account every month like that I've, um, that God has provided for me through my work. Now this particular amount that I want to get it. So January, com the, the answer just came speedily. January, it came and surpassed the amount that I, I wrote down. Then February again, it was as if <laughs> even my birthday, people were just sending me money, sending me money as in one project, from one project to another, from one production to another. I was just God has just been blessing me. And I really want to bless God for people that God has used around that, uh, around me to bless me because God will not come from heaven to bless you directly. He will definitely send somebody. Sometimes you're looking for miracle, but people around us are sometimes the uh, miracle that God has sent into our life to just be our guiding angel. So this particular friend of mine, if you know me very well, you will know that friend of mine. Like anytime there's opportunity, like... God, he, he, she thinks about me first, like for me, you know that some people when they are going up, some people will just leave you behind and don't want you to go up with, with, with them. But this particular friend of mine, she is so deliberate to the point that she has taken a lot of bullets for me, like <laughs> you don't want to know that she has been called me, but instead of it to separate us, it has brought us like closer and closer. So she's always remembering me when it comes to opportunity. I say, Fumi, you said this morning we are going to make it together. If I'm going up, you are going up with me. I say, amen, I receive it like ah, we are going up together. And we always talk about this thing. No matter what the situation of Nigeria is right now, even people are feeling, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be sensitive. I know this um, few months has been hell, like maybe people are feeling the heat, but I can stand in this hotel and say that I don't even know if, if people are feeling it, me, I'm not feeling it. And we would always joke about it. Even bag of rice is 100,000. We are going to have the money to buy it. Even if they say, car is me, my own car will come at that particular time. So God has been faithful in that area. So the second one was that, like, this February, because I have a UK visa with me. But where the money will come, like, ah, I didn't even put my mind to it that I want to go to the UK for my business store. But all of a sudden, this, I was just saying it in front of uh, my, my stylist, my friend. Like, I have this because she was trying to get a UK visa. I said, I me, mean, I have a UK visa that is sitting there. I don't even have money to even buy the ticket. In fact, if you even check the amount that ticket is even saying right now, 
you, it's not even about you having the visa, but you have the money, the money to buy the ticket. So uh, she shall encourage me. I said, okay, God, if you really want me to do this business tour, I'm, I'm coming. If you really want me to do this business tour, show me the sign and 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 just provide the money. So this is how God. I checked the the ticket. It was not smiling, but I said, me, if it is two million, I'm going to buy. So God did surprised me, and I got it here for my business tour. I just want to give God the glory. Please, if you know S.A. Akwawa, if for adventure you have a number, please, I'm not sending you a message. Please, just thank her for me that she has been such a good friend to me. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. I have come to return glory to God Almighty. Actually, I think I've been a little ungrateful to God. And I just want to bless God because when I look at myself and my kids, how God has been helping me to take care of them. to know Praise the Lord. So, I want to thank God for a few testimonies. I don't want to take, I don't want to take it for granted. Okay, let me start with my wife before I come to my side. So, uh, I want to bless the name of the Lord. Uh, this week, enemy tried to, tried to do his way, but the door was locked. So, he did not have the key. Okay, my wife got ready. I was at home. Unusually, I don't stay at home. Reach 6, 7. You can't see me at home. 6, 7 o'clock. But that day, I was dragging leg. Okay, when? But that day, he said her spirit told her not to go to, her, go to work with her ATM. She had someone that can take care of her. Now, she dropped the ATM. They asked her her ATM. She said she doesn't have any ATM. They asked her her phone. She brought out her phone. They opened her bag, searched her bag. She brought out her phone. And they asked her to make transfer. She said she cannot transfer. The argument was just up and down. It's just God. At a point, when they get Antony, they now throw her back and push her out of the car. And they now zoom off. I said, see me. <laughs> see what I, I just returned all the glory to God because... If it was not God, who, who knows where that would have ended? Probably if, if it was not God, who, who knows where that would have ended? Probably if you do not give them what they want, they would have done what they wanted the other way around. But I return all the glory back to God for saving her life. The same week, my daughter was the little girl, four years, I mean four months. She was on the bed. My bed is like, my, like this high. My bed is from ground to this place. And she was on the bed with the little with my four years girl. Me, I was preparing because that day I actually went to work late. I was picking my cloth from my wardrobe. All of a sudden, I just hear bah! The small girl, three years, uh, three months, just fell from the bed. As bed as high like this, fell on the ground, like her head on the ground. As she fell, scream. Her mother ran from her room before she came. I just carry her. I said, You are blessed in Jesus' name. Her mother took her. As the mother was just hey, hey, I said, Leave her. I just let she not be not be here, she born. Lay my hand upon her. She said, hey, Headache. I said, Nothing will be wrong with her. Just leave her. Pray for her. There's nothing. Is there anybody that is trying to tempt us? But the key is not there. He doesn't have the key to this family. So I return all the glory back to God for saving that girl's life. Another testimony is that this few days ago, I was, in, I was in my office. I received a call from a company. They said, Paul. I said, Sir. He said, uh, Okay, this particular company, the, way, the, way, the day I met them, they sent me their company profile. They asked me to, I'm coming. They asked me to review, they asked me to review their, uh, their project. And I reviewed the project. They asked me, can I handle this project for them? I said, yeah, they don't know me from anywhere. When I handled the project, it was okay and executed the project. All of a sudden, I don't know they were planning to hire me. When they now called me and they said, Paul, we want you to come and work. I said, I'm already, I'm a manager of the company I'm working for and I don't have time. I close late. I go to work very early. They said, we don't want you to be coming to the office. Just walk from your office. We only send you what we want. You review and evaluate. Be our project manager. But you are not coming to the office. You are not going to any way. I said, ah. Say, I don't think I can do it. Or they say you can do it. They, they were telling me you can do it. In fact, the guy dropped the call. He said, the CEO is going to call you. Please don't say you can't do it. Now, the way the CEO now called me, he said, okay, can you come for an interview the next day? I said, what time? He said, 10. I said, my morning till 12 is always busy. It's always fixed with meeting. He said, okay, come anytime you like. I just... I just do what I can do and drove into the office. So when I now got there, I meet the CFO, I meet the HR, I meet the, uh, all the people that were there. 
So after the interview, I told them, this is my condition. They said, okay, fine. There's no problem. You can work from home. Then I asked me, you have a car? I said, yes, I have a car. But they said, well, what will it cost for us to fix your car? So that, but I said, you, you are not allowing me. I'm not coming to your office now. I'm working for my own office. Why do you want to fix my car? They said, what will it cost to maintain your car to put it in a standard order? I said, okay, the last time I, I scanned the car, I did everything. I just give them random figure, 250000 They said, we'll fix your car. I said, you will fix my car that I'm not using to come to the office and work. They said, we'll fix your car. Just be comfortable going to your own office so that whenever we send you work to do, you do it from your own office. I said, there's no problem. I just want to thank God because God has been faithful. What? few seconds. Just the last one. The last one. See, uh, our rent, our, our rent is not yet expired. But why I want to return this glory? Because in this church, here, right here, I told God that before our rent expire, we want to move out. Before our rent, well, our rent will expire on June, June, July. Me and my wife already made up our mind that we are going to leave that compound. So, as God may have it, we will be looking for house here and there, looking for house, looking for house. So, at a point, the house rent within Akoka, everywhere, you know, everywhere. In fact, we have to go far. It's still the same high, 1.2, 1.52 bedroom.